Mr. Bunny. Hi, Mr. Hedgehog. How are you, Mr. Bunny? Not so good. Oh, no. What's going on? I'm hungry and I ate all my carrots already. Well, Mr. Bunny, this is why you should always create a supply for bad times and take care that you are refilling it regularly because if the winter is coming and you already eat everything. Do you smell that? Sorry, Mr. Bunny. It's coming from over there. Hello. Who are you? Hi. I'm Bob. Do you want to taste the amazing Bob burger? Do you have carrot burger? I never saw you here, Bob. Where do you come from? Only the creator knows that. Let's ask him. Hello and welcome to this very exciting cartoon animation tutorial. This is Argos iCinema and in this video I will show you my whole workflow to create a cartoon. So if you are interested in cartoon animation, you should subscribe to this channel and activate the bell of creativity. This is not an in-depth tutorial, so if you want to learn every detail of my creation and animation process, you should check out my recent videos. For my cartoon animation workflow, I'm using four apps from the Adobe Creative Cloud. Photoshop, Character Animator, After Effects and Premiere Pro. You can also create a cartoon with only Photoshop or Illustrator and Character Animator, but my workflow gives me more possibilities. I'm always starting by creating a cartoon character in Photoshop. In this case, I'm using a picture of my friend Bob as reference. Bob emigrated to the Philippines to build up an own business around products out of bamboo. If you speak German and you are interested in his work you can check out his YouTube channel. You will find the link under this video. Usually it's the best to start with the head, so I'm paint over his image by using the pen tool. Then I'm adding the ears using a slightly darker skin tone. In this tutorial I'm not going too much into details how I'm creating everything, because my intention with this video is to give a compact overview about the whole cartoon creation process. If you want to learn more about the details, you should watch my recent videos. After I cut holes for the eyes in the face shape, I create the nose and his head. As next step, I create a basic mouth shape for his neutral mouth expression. I will add the other mouth expressions at a later point. Now I create the eyes starting with the eyeballs. I name the layer of the left eyeball surprise left eyeball. Then I create the pupil and name it plus left pupil. The correct naming is important to help Adobe Character Animator to identify the specific body parts. The plus in front of the layer's name shows the program that it has to treat it as an independent layer that is able to move independent from the rest of the body. Then I create the top right eyelid, name it plus left eyelid top, and the lower eyelid, naming it plus left eyelid bottom. Because of the plus in front of the name, the character will be able to move the pupil and the eyelids later. Now I'm creating a group of all the eye parts and name it plus left eye. Then I'm doing the same steps for the right eye. Once I'm happy with the face, I select all its layers and group it. I name the group Head. Then I create a second group below the head, naming it Body. In the Body group, I start to create the torso and the hips. Then I create the left and the right leg. The left leg gets the name plus left leg and the right leg gets the name plus right leg. My advice is to name all the layers properly so that you don't lose the overview. The next things on the to-do list is to create the left and the right arm and name them plus left arm and plus right arm. I like to add some shades and some highlights for my puppets, but that's an optional step. Now it's time to create all the different mouth shapes for the character. If you are interested in some tips and tricks how to speed up the process, please check my cartoon character lip sync tutorial. Here you can see all the required layers again. The head group with plus nose plus mouth with all its mouth layers in the group. The background layer. The right eye with plus right eyelid top plus right eyelid bottom plus right pupil and right eyeball and the left eye with all the same layers. Then you can see the ears. In the body group we have the plus right arm plus left arm, the torso plus right leg 
and plus left leg. The graphics for the cartoon character are done. Now we can save and import the character into Adobe Character Animator. First of all, we need to create a new scene. So I click on a scene, new scene and give it a name that I like. Then I import the Photoshop file of the puppet I just created. I drag the scene and the puppet into the timeline. If I move my head, the whole puppet moves the same way I do, but we want to get more control over it, so we need to rig it first. I'm switching to rigging mode in the top left corner. In the rigging mode I select the imported puppet. Now we can see all the different layer names we just created in Photoshop. Now I select the head group and drag its origin point to the spot where the neck would be. Then I select a neck on the puppet preview. I select the right arm group, drag its origin to the shoulder and click on right shoulder in the puppet panel. I select the handle tool and click on his elbow to place a handle. Then I select right elbow on the puppet preview. Before I select the dragger tool and place a dragger on his hand and click on right wrist in the puppet preview. I use the stick tool and draw a bone for the upper and the lower arm. I do the same with the left arm, with the difference that I select the spots on the left side of the puppet preview. I'm going on with the torso, move its origin point to the place of the belly button and click on waist on the text panel. Then I select the right leg group and move its origin to the right hip. I use the handle tool to put a handle on the knee and click on knee in the preview. Then I put handles on the ankle, heel and toe and select the related spots on the puppet preview. Afterwards I'm using the stick tool to draw bones for the upper and lower leg. Then I'm going through the same steps for the left leg. To make my life a bit easier I imported the pre-rigged character Chad who comes with Adobe Character Animator. I double click on his character name, open the head and then the mouth group. Select the WOO subgroup and click on edit copy behavior. Then I switch back to my Bob puppet and paste the mouth behavior into his mouth's WOO group. I repeat the step with the UH and the AH subgroups. Finally I click on the puppet's name on the top and click on the plus next to behavior on the right side of the screen. Here I select a limp IK from the drop down menu. I'm switching back to recording mode. If I would like to make a scene with only a single character I would start with moving and recording him now. But I want to create this scene from the intro where multiple characters having a conversation. So my workflow changes a bit. I'm creating a new scene and import all my prepared characters. In this case it's Mr. Hedgehog, Mr. Bunny and Bob. With the puppet selected I adjust its position under transform by regulating position X and position Y. If you want to move a character who is in front of another character in the background, you simply have to move his layer under the other character's layer. Now I start to create the scene by making the audio voice over with a lip sync. Mr. Hedgehog is the first one who is speaking, so I select his layer, deactivate all the puppet track behaviors except from the lip sync behavior, activate the red recording button and record his first text with my microphone. Hello, who are you? I click the recording button again to stop the record. The next one who is talking is Bob. Because Bob lives in the Philippines, I can't record him in my studio, so he sent me his audio file. I import his file and cut it so that I can work only with his first sentence for now. I move it in the right place so that it aligns perfectly with Mr. Hedgehog's Hello, part. who are you? Hi, I'm Bob. I will care later for the animated lip synchronization. After I'm happy with the arrangement I continue with Mr. Bunny's part. Now I select his layer, press the record button and record his part. Do you have carrot burger? I continue with this workflow until the whole conversation is done. Because I'm using an external audio file for Bob instead recording him directly in Adobe Character Animator, his lip synchronization is not done automatically. But the program comes with a solution. I select his audio files and puppet layer, click on timeline and compute lip sync from scene audio. After a few seconds Character Animator process the lip synchronization. Who are you? Hi. I'm Bob. Do you want to taste the amazing Bob burger? Do you have carrot? Once the lip synchronization is done, I adjust the character's movement so that they fit with the conversation. 
To make this tutorial not too long, I skip the steps for Mr. Hedgehog and Mr. Bunny and show them only on Bob. I select his layer and deactivate all the behaviors under Puppet Track Behaviors I don't want to record yet. I would recommend not to record all behaviors at the same time. I start with recording the dragger behavior, press the recording button and move his right arm. I click the recording button again to stop the recording. Afterwards, I'm going back in the timeline, press the recording button once more and move his left arm with the mouse cursor. I want to be able to place the characters independently in the scene, so I export them not in the group as you can see them here, but everyone on his own. To export the characters independently, I just click on the eye symbol for the characters that should be invisible for now, click on File, Export and select Video with Alpha via Media Encoder. I'm doing this for all of the three characters separately. Once the characters are exported, I open After Effects to set up the scene. I import a grass layer that I created in Photoshop. I make it a 3D layer and click on Layer New Camera. For now I'm happy with the default settings, so I click on OK. I import more landscape and background elements and place them in the scene until I'm happy with the setting. I make all of the layers to 3D layers so that I will able to move the camera within the scene at a later point. If you are interested in the same graphics I use, you can buy them in my digital content store. Just search for the link under this video. For the sky, I just create a blue and a white solid. Then I create a mask on the white solid and increase the mask feather value to get a smooth transition from blue to white. Now it's time to import the characters, scale them to the right size and put them in place. Once all the characters are in place and I'm happy with the composition, I complete the scene by adding some more details. I could export the scene already, but I want to give it a more dynamic feeling by adding some variation for the camera settings. Therefore, I select the camera layer and add a position keyframe on that point in the timeline until that the current camera setting should stay. Then I'm going one frame further in the timeline and use the camera tool to find a new framing for the image. In this case I'm zooming on Bob. Now I'm going forward in the timeline until I reach a point where I want to switch the camera settings again and add another keyframe. Again I'm going one frame forward and search a new camera position. I'm doing this until I'm happy with the camera positions for the whole scene. Once I'm happy with the results I'm going to export it. The last step I'm doing is to arrange all the several scenes in Adobe Premiere Pro. I can also cut them and do some minor adjustments if it's needed before I export the whole and final cartoon movie. Thank you for watching. I hope you got a good overview about my method to make an own little cartoon movie. If you have some questions or wishes about something I should make a new video about, please let me know about it in the comments. Please make also sure to subscribe to this channel and don't miss any new videos. Thank you Bob, this was so interesting! No problem. Do you like my burger? It's amazing! Is it a carrot burger? No, it's just fresh rabbit meat.